to here. There we go. We can start smashing. All right. Uh-oh. It looks like they got in. Uh-oh. Hey, guys. Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Look at this contraption. I ended up moving the crop plots to a nice grassless part of the map that was close to water, and it works out good. And I'm playing around with the idea of auto-seeding this thing, but... I'm not liking some of the things. So basically all we have here is very, very simple. We have a piston connected to a switch connected to a wooden beam that is that has all these mounted um, water cannons and pumps, okay, vacuum pumps. So if I put a chest on top of this vacuum pump and I send a pulse to it um, and there's some seeds in it, it's going to pump a seed in, okay? And then... If I send the pulse to the water, it's going to squirt water. Okay, so that would happen once and then it would move forward and do the same thing. All right. So the problem is to get this thing to work without dispensing seeds, to, but without over dispensing seeds, I, I can't wrap my little brain around it. Because what happens is when it gets to the end, it needs water. It needs to water this last row. So it's going to go one further and it's going to dispense seeds and water again. It's going to send the pulse to all of these things. Now, that the, the only thing that I could figure out is you can put a chest on top of these vacuum pumps and only dispense the amount of seeds that you want. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six in each chest. But that just seems like a pain in the butt to do. But if I got more, it's going to dispense these things too many times. Unless I could count the amount of pulses that it sends, which I don't really know how to do that with timers and logic gates and stuff that like that. My little brain can't process it. So as much as I've been playing around with this idea in creative mode, I think I'm just going to take the seeding out of it. I'm sure there's an, a very, very, very awesome design uh, out there. And it really sucks that I have all of these vacuum pumps that I'm wasting. But to tell you the truth, guys, it's just it's a little bit bigger of a project that I want to get into. I've already taken an extra day just to play around with this concept and uh, from making the videos. And I, I said to myself after, you know, playing around with it in creative and survival and messing around, I was just like, you know what? It's not that big of a deal to just plant my own that gum seeds. I have to harvest them anyway, which you can make it to where it auto harvest, too. But that even, that even makes it more complicated. So instead of doing all that mess, you guys, I hope y'all understand. I am just going to put down some soil and we're going to get to farming today without having to worry about all of that stuff. So what I've been noticing too is sometimes I can't place stuff at certain places. It's, I don't know, it's weird. But like right now, if I try to place right here, there it is. Before it didn't want to go. You see right now it does not want to go. It'll go right there, but that's not the place that I want to put it. So I have no idea. If I were to take this away, now I could place it. And then I could place it there. I was messing around with the design over there the other day, and it was it was it, it was even crazier. So now with this system again, I'm I'm confident. It's much more simple and we can do things like we want and it'll be beautiful we just need to set it up kind of like we did uh the other the other with the other defense system it'll just be square and it's going to smash bots as they come in and it will be beautiful the only thing is we're going to have to line up the pumps to where they actually connect with this and a water tank and to do that we need to connect it somehow so i've come up with two ways that we can actually connect this and i don't know if it's going to work but i'm going to try i have plenty of stone so that's what we're going to use first so what I can do is just kind of run this all the way in, but just leave it one high. And I know the bots will be able to break this, but if we dispense it lower than the ground, it should affect it. I don't know. And I also thought about going up with it too. We can, we can definitely do that. So let's do this. Uh, I just need to listen closely here. That's definitely three high. Okay, so that is, that's one, that's two, that's three. All right, so some of them are going underground. One, two, three. Stretch it all the way across. 
That's one, that's two, that's three. So we do that all the way until we get to where the water is and we should be fine to connect it. All righty, now we're gonna peek it out. So let's see, that's one, two, three. Beautiful. And that's connected all the way down. Now, we could technically, let's, let's make this go five. We could technically remove this entire top layer, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary. I think we're just gonna be able to build a trap around it and it should be good. We'll just put a groove in for this or something like that. And I don't know if the bots are gonna mess with any of this at all because they're gonna try to come for the crops. But if this doesn't work, we might have to build a um, kind of like a pole that just sticks up and comes way out here and then drops in the water. But we'll see. I'm just gonna go grab my water and set up now and make sure that water gets dispensed to all of these pumps. All right, we've got this done now. I just need to put all of these in because I took out a bunch of water earlier. There we go. We didn't need to recollect all that water. We're going to we're going to have plenty of it. So, I'm curious to say if I'm curious to see if I can actually delete this top layer and it'd be good. If it doesn't, I can always come back with it. So, let's see. If we were to take this entire it it's only it can only come down by 2. Now, can we connect that with that? Let's let's see. Could bring it all the way. And the answer is no. The answer is no. It will not so it's not considered connecting because it's not touching the ground. That's wild. Well, <laughs> so if they do break it, it's not going to come out. So I'm thinking that it would be best to make it just thicker. You know, that way, if it does break, it's not uh, it's not in danger of severing the connection. You know, if the bots break it. So now we should be able to connect it. Yeah, you see how the dot turned pink? Huh. Wild, man. Very, very wild. Okay, so, well, we're going to connect all of these, and I think I'm going to thicken this up. Uh, instead of worrying about blocks underneath the terrain, we're just going to make it wider. That way, uh, this entire thing connects. Alrighty, I got all the water connected and I just reinforced this entire trunk so that if I would happen to get a robot or a couple stragglers that would start beating up on this, it wouldn't sever the connection uh, that I needed. I'm also putting the majority of the circuitry in this little box here, along with the timers and stuff so that if something would happen to this farm and the the the, the the defenses would actually get penetrated. I wouldn't have to worry about it. I Will I change that to here? Maybe. I don't know. I just want to try to keep this set up as small as possible right now. And I think this is the way to go. So what I want to do is I want to take this switch. And I'm going to disconnect it from this controller. And then the controller... Well, actually the switch I need to connect to here. Actually, I need two different things here I believe I think I'm gonna need two switches I'm gonna need one switch to control the the output and I'm gonna need one switch to control the water because hmm, I don't know <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to explain when I want to hit uh, I want to be able to hit this controller and just make it go right well right now it's not gonna be spraying any water so that timer is what's going to be controlling whether or not it's going to be spraying water. So when I hit this switch once, this would need a pulse like a certain amount of times. And I think that it would just repeat if I didn't have it like that. So I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and pull this thing back. And I'm going to take these switches and actually put them here. So one switch is going to be here and one switch is going to be here. And I will connect this switch to this controller so that's still good and then this switch needs to go to the timer right there we go so well wait no the timer needs to go to the piston no the water oh my gosh yeah 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 the 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 water the water uh it needs to go to the water uh, there we go oh turn it off 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 Wait, wait. <laughs> huh. 
Let's connect this switch to the timer. And it'll stop it. Or one of these gates. One of these gates. So if we turn it, if we if we connect it to the gate, it should stop it, right? It's this one. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Panicked. I was panicking. I don't know why. It's only water. Okay, so now that we got it on a shut-off mode, we have to connect all of these um, these these squirters, these water cannons, to the timer. So let me do that. It's basically you just connect it like this. We have this the first one and the second one, and then we'll have the third one, and we connect that to the timer, and so on and so forth. Alrighty, this is the last one. We connect this one. Now they're all connected. So now now it's gonna pump baby now it's gonna pump so if i were to connect this switch to the timer i don't think it would work the same i i know you could probably do it with logic gates and stuff but again my little brain can't process it i don't know why so if i push this though it's gonna go all the way out now how about this is it fast enough to do it we just we need it to come back now Oh, I'm out of water now. Okay. It needs to collect a little bit more water before before I can do it, okay? And I can honestly just I can I think I can No, I was going to say it stops it from being watered or whatever when I I hit it like that, but okay, we can also slow that timer out just a little bit more and I think it would be fine. So let's, right now we have it like to 125 milliseconds. Let's change it to seven ticks. And I think that's going to be good. Also, let's add a little bit more water. That's, that's 40 water. We should have it okay right here. So now, if I, I'm going to go ahead and start this puppy up. And it works. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so the, the only thing I don't like about it is it has to hit two switches, but... The logic gate, we could do a logic gate, I think, in order to make this work like that, right? So if we install a logic gate here, and we take a switch, and we take each of these mechanisms and we connect them to the logic gate instead, I think that's gonna work, right? So let's, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna malfunction here for a second. Let's connect this logic gate to one switch and now we connect the logic gates to here and the logic gates to the other logic gate like that right and now if we hit the switch now if we hit the switch it turns off one but not the other <laughs> okay uh, so we can change that to and what if we do it or and it still goes back out so we need this to be in a reverse state so is that does that mean nor or do we want the starting position 15 and the first position zero I think that would do it as well. We change this to and again. There we go. That works. And now when we turn off the switch, that's good. So it's just in a reverse state. I'm sure there's a few different ways to do it. But what we want is when we want to press the button, we want it to go out to full extension and water as it goes. And when we press the button again, we want it to come back to its home state and stop pumping water. That's... That's essentially what we want. So now we have to cover this thing up so that we can smash anytime we want. And there's two different ways to do that. We can start off with the the uh, the, the lift, which I would rather not do it with the lift. I would rather to see if we could do it with pistons is what I'm going to try to do first. So I'm going to need a couple of, I'm going to need to set up a couple pistons and see exactly what we can do. We could probably hook them up to the ground but I'm thinking that one on either side should be fine. And it's going to need a cover up like that much stuff. We could probably start it out on the lift. No, we probably need to start it on the pistons to tell you the truth. And it's going to need to be a welded thing. All right. 
I have the pistons set up to where they're independent and they're both connected to this controller. Now, I don't know of any way to weld these two things together except for maybe doing something like this. So let's see, if I go out all the way right here, we would still need it to go out by two. And if I cut this one off, it would actually be three. So if I took this, put it on the jack, added one, two, three, and I took the welding tool and connected it like that. Does that weld these two together? I don't know. I don't know, does it? There's only one way to find out really, and that is to weigh this thing down or, ah, uh, I know, no, it's to change this independent. So let's do like this. No, they aren't welded together. Man, so yeah, it does not let me weld this thing. Ah, I, I, I guess there's just no way to do it. I guess there's just no way to do it. I, if, if there is, guys, I don't know. Y'all can explain it to me in the comments. But I think what I'm going to do is just make these mechanisms fire independently. That just seems uh, like the way to go. So if I were to build something here to where it's going to smash bots right now, right? It's going to smash bots. So we need it to be too high from the starting point meaning we would need to come out like this hold on like this there we go and if we came out just like this which is four out and then down it should smash and go close to the ground so one two three four and then one two three one two three four and then one, two, three. Beautiful. So now if I go up all the way and it comes down, they go all the way to the ground. And now all we need, well, actually this is a little bit too far to tell you the truth. It just needs to be even. There we go. So now we need to make the smashing mechanism pretty much that goes around this bad boy. And we would do it just like that, I think. It only has to go, it only has to surround this, like come out by four. And I don't know if that's in the middle, but that should be fine. Okay, so if we were just to make this now a little bit wider, like about, let's say like that. Can it still lift it is the question. Yeah, it lifts it fine. It's very, very off. Ba oh, this is never mind. <laughs> I, <laughs> oops, I disconnected it. Uh, I could have probably welded that, but let's let's make this come out like so. And it looks like it still lifts it. We just need to come out a little bit further, like around there, and just a little bit further, and. Uh, Boom. Yep, that works. That definitely works. Okay, so now we need to make it to where it does that on both sides and has the back and front done too. So I think I'm more or less set up here. I'm just building a little bit of a kind of like a wall around the inner part of it to where the bots don't climb over it if they come too fast or if we end up dumping them over. So if the bots get on top of this thing and it hadn't smashed them for some reason, they'll be able to climb over, right? In other words, let's say two waves of bots are coming in, one of them come in and gets smashed and the ones behind them end up getting right here and they could come on top and start tearing stuff up. We need something to kind of surround it so that they don't do that. So I was just thinking about something simple like a wooden wall that connected all the way and just kind of just kind of went around to where it wouldn't break anything. And I think we have enough wood there. Let's see if it's all connected to the right places. I'm going to need to move the switches around, but yeah, the whole thing moves up. I really, really, really hate the way this connects, but it's all because of the way the, the weight distribution is. In fact, you know what I could probably do here is just cut this, cut it like that, and connect all of that to that side instead. That way it doesn't quite show like that. So we'll just take the wood and 
let's make like the little wall come out I don't know like so and then we'll connect it again like so beautiful and that looks a little bit more symmetrical so now when we close it boom we got it done so what we want now is this honestly can come in a little bit more because this entire setup right here, we don't need this base part right here, right? We don't need this at all. Uh, we we have it on the sides because, well, it's... I don't, honestly, we could have made it a little bit smaller altogether. But I think that it's just going to help with the weight distribution some and the speed of it if we take just this part out. So I'm going to delete this. Okay. Just like that, even with it. And then I'm going to connect this in stone. We'll do it like halfway, right? And we'll do this setup halfway. Cool. And now we should be able to take up some of this. Let's just take away two for now and see how wide this, this is gonna be. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I hope I didn't mess something up by doing that. <laughs> I get kind of confused sometimes on what's good and what's not. Yeah, that, that works actually perfect. So this whole assembly is gonna, gonna stay. We just need to make this solid here. Beautiful. This needs to be solid now. Like so. And we can get rid of these as well. And if we set that down now, gotta be careful because this will smash the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, it's it's yeah, it's good. It's good to go. It's ready to it's ready to smash some bots. So if we're in here and we want to keep watch, the thing is that we need this to be like it just needs to come up like two, I think. We're not gonna do it with stone. Wood is gonna be fine. We can always change this to a higher end material, but let's do. Let's do like three on each corner and then we're going to make a little viewing area <laughs> and it's going to be good to go and we're going to test it out with bots. We just I'm going to need to go get a little bit more wood in order to finish this up, but I think it's going to work good like this. Well, there it is in all its glory. <laughs> it doesn't look too spectacular from here, but I assure you it's finally functional. The only thing that we haven't done yet is install lights, and I do want to do that. Let's go ahead and let it down. As you can see, it comes down really, really fast. Now, the thing is, I don't know how to place these lights. We can put them on top, but it's not really going to work that way. What I could do is possibly mount them like so. That way, let's, let's go one on top, actually. It's really, really hard to place when it's like that. But what we want is the ability to see while not really making a mess. Because down here, everything has to have clearance, right? Um, now, we don't want to ever activate the, the water thing while we're in here. <laughs> That's the only thing. But this is this is our little bunker, right? This is, this is what we're going to use so that we can see all the bots coming and, and actually destroy them with the... Uh, the the smashing mechanism so I installed the switch on top of here so it's really really easy to get to and I'm gonna put an ore switch or something like that in the future but right now it's just a matter of getting this to where it's fine and I thought it was gonna take more lights than that that should work just fine I had brought a bunch of them so let's let's do the dad gum thing let's make sure everything's watered so we're gonna go ahead and uh, there we go it's gonna water everything now. All right, and we just hit the switch for it to come back. Okay, it's all out of water, but everything is watered. And uh, now we just plant everything and we're gonna wait for things to happen. It does look like it's a little bit too low for me to plant these things. I wonder if it's gonna allow me to... Yeah, it still lets me plant. It's kind of weird, actually. It doesn't let me plant on some of them or I gotta hit the, the box funny. But if we move it, it should be fine. We might have to raise that up just a little bit higher. Come to think of it. We should get unauthorized farming here in a little bit. If we were to move this piston just a hair, 
what happens? We can move this out like by... Oh no, that's uh, there's the unauthorized farming. Let's move this piston out by let's say what, thirteen. Oh no, that's the yeah the starting position. Okay, we'll move the starting position to. There we go. If we just open it up, that should be fine. And it's gonna let me. <laughs> It lets me place. It's so weird, man. Let's let's just move this to like, I don't know, six. There we go. And now we just change it back. That's that's so strange that it's like that. I might have to raise this entire mechanism, but it's fine. I've been messing with this for like two hours as it is now. Let's just go ahead and change this back to zero. So it comes all the way back. And the beach should grow as, as long as they come up full. I, I wanted to keep it compact. I didn't think it was going to have to be that bad. But honestly, outside of just raising this up a little bit, we should be okay. I'm I'm excited to see what the Smash is going to do. So I made some last minute changes just by putting up a little fence. And I'm going to be taking some of this away just so it lightens it up because I don't need it all. But the bot should be coming here in a minute. And I want to see where they come from. It looks like they're coming from all sides. So, as soon as they get to here, there we go. We can start smashing. All right. Uh-oh. It looks like they got in. Uh-oh. This is going very bad. Oh, my gosh. How did they just get straight in here? It's like they were able to just get inside. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but it broke. And I don't know what's going on. They just destroyed my contraption now. Oh my gosh. Look at them in there. They just lay in waste to it. Oh. This is terrible, man. They are just breaking into pieces. Let me get in here. It looks like they might have just climbed straight over. Their hitboxes might not be what I thought they were. That's for sure. Let me get down in here. God dang it. <laughs> Jeez, they broke all kind of stuff. Oh, this is horrible. So I got really tired of messing with the pistons. I've been messing with the build all day. So I just decided to put it on the lift like we had it last time. It seemed to work well. We've got some bots coming in and we're going to let them get a little bit closer and just lift smash them. Because the lift will go straight through and do what it's got to do. Like this, baby. Come on in. Come on in. They got some that's getting on top, too. We go a little bit further in. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so weird, man. We still got one on the outside right here. So it's not a completely foolproof build. But comparatively, it, it, it's a lot more successful than the other one has. Let's just see the damage that was actually done here. I'm, I'm curious to see if there, was, if there was any real damage done. It looks like they didn't even get in and break any of the stone. They did happen to get to the stone to start hitting on it, but there's no broken pieces anywhere. And <laughs> honestly, to tell you the truth, just for the simplicity of it all... I think I think this is what we want here. The they got one block. They did get one block on this side, which means I'll probably need to make sure that this little um, this little electronics deal is, is 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 enclosed to where all I can do is press the button. But honestly, that I I think that's the only thing that I'm really gonna have to worry about here because this this whole setup right here has just been really really complicated honestly all i want to do is be able to farm that's that's it that's it i just want to be able to get crops so i can finally make some deliveries onto the plant and start getting some of the stuff that we can purchase from the vendor but i have played around with this design plenty enough you guys i hope y'all enjoyed the fail and the uh, the outcome. If you guys have any ideas in the comments for why the, the, the piston design didn't work, I'd love to hear the input, but I'm pretty sure 
I'm finished messing around with farming. This is going to be uh, the, the crop setup that I have that I'm just going to work with until I have enough crops to where I could deliver them out. And maybe in the next couple of videos, we'll put together a delivery truck or something to get all of the uh the groceries to the store so to speak and start crating those up so that we can take them to the vendors but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did give me some dab on that like button to show your support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos guys thanks so much for watching as always this is Zuldin signing off and we'll see you next time